Okay, hey guys, so today I decided to film a video about my favorite business attire clothing and then mixed in with kind of a half my favorite business attire, where I buy it, stuff like that, and then the second half being um, like kind of tips and tricks to kind of work in your own style to your business clothing. This video is very difficult to match up with everyone's needs, obviously. Different businesses work very differently, obviously. Um, attire requirements is very different on different spectrums and areas, so this might not apply to you in the tips and tricks section, but um, I'm still gonna talk about like my favorite, like where I buy my business clothing, kind of like what I like, stuff like that. Um, I am an almost not college student. <laughs> I have one year left of college, so um, obviously financially I am looking to not spend all my money on a few outfits. On top of that, um, I am an art student, so most of the jobs I go to, my dressing requirements are a little different than your traditional business clothing, so that also kind of makes it a little difficult. But anymore, unless you're going for some very specific position, anymore a lot of jobs are kind of loosening their dressing requirements, I've come to notice. And so, yeah, I just thought this might be a fun video, especially if you're a college student, even high school student. Um, if you are looking for some nice interview outfits, maybe just to have a few around, like maybe you start doing like some shadowing or something like that, then this might be really helpful to you. Or if you just want to find some cheap clothing, I got you. So first I'll start off with some of my favorites. Um, most of my business clothing is either secondhand or from H&M. H&M's like my top, like 100%. That is the first place I go. I've come to find I've, I have the most success there and I have a bunch of friends who have the most success there. Other than that, sometimes Kohl's has some pretty nice stuff. Um, men's wise, I'd say Kohl's has pretty nice stuff. Women's wise, Kohl's is becoming, starting to disappoint me very intensely. Um, so I don't know if I could recommend that, but sometimes they have good stuff. Forever 21 is good for very cheap clothing. Um, not that H&M isn't cheap, but I've come to find Forever 21 seems to even be a step down from that. And um, I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else I like, definitely go for clothing. I don't think so. I think that's pretty much mostly where I go. H&M's like top. Oh, and then Nordstrom Rack if you're looking for like a special piece. A special piece. Like that is something that like I, if I was in high school, I probably wouldn't be going there. College, I only go there for a special event piece like I've said. Um, like I have a very, very nice fancy blazer slash cape from there. Um, and I have like one or two tops from there. But other than that, like pretty much H&M's where I'm at. H&M you know, just look for the discounts. That's what you got to do here. <laughs> I'm going to start with pants. Um, I am a person who loves leggings. <laughs> that is like all I wear. It's either leggings, shorts, or a dress because then I'm not wearing pants. Perfect. I am just not a fan. I've only ever owned up to like two pairs of jeans at a time, like in my life, because I just don't wear them ever. Um, so pants for me are kind of a big deal because I hate them. <laughs> but I finally found some pants that I could get away with, slash like I felt comfortable in, were very affordable, and are definitely good for work. Um, I have two pair. I own three pairs of business pants. These are my favorite, one because they're price tag and two because they're comfort and everything. And they're both blue. I should probably get a black pair, but working on that. I mean, my third one's a black pair, but these are awesome. Um, but so these are both from H&M. And if you've never tried the H&M, I think, I don't know if they just call them like trousers. I think so. I don't actually know what they would call this type of pant. But anymore, like at the current moment, they have so many options for these. I know I went shopping with a friend of mine and we both ended up getting the same pair of pants. And then um, I've like had this one for about two years probably. And these are amazing. Um, it's like a chevron kind of pattern, but it's like white and then like a navy blue on like a really dark blue or black pant. So um, it's just like a very, not, I can't say subtle. <laughs> it's a light pattern, nothing too crazy. Still looks fine with like a plain shirt. And then these pants here, I'm gonna try and like figure this out for a second. <laughs> these pants here are navy blue. The only sucky thing is, is there's no pockets on these. I don't think they have pockets in any of their business pants that I can think of. Um, 
and the zipper is on the side which one once upon a time I thought in my head that was a pocket while I was wearing it even though I just earlier that morning zipped them up and put them on like yes this is my pants I'm at a conference and I am like oh my god this thing has a pocket I know that and started unzipping it to then realize that I am unzipping my pants don't do that these don't have pockets in them so but they're just a very like tailored fit they're a little on the stretchy side so um I mean these are like they're kind of like wearing skinny jeans but in trousers so everything is just very nice it technically does have loops for a belt although with the way these are made at least for me they snug my body and it's not an issue um I love it because I've been very consistent in sizing with these like I said they're basically like wearing kind of a legging jegging situation and for me they come a little bit short um, but I'm also 5'8 so on my friend they were perfect because she's a little on the shorter side but um, also it's one of those things that's like it's a few inches above the ankle like it's definitely a look I think at max I've ever seen a pair of these for like 30 but I think there was something special about them I think I've gotten these for like 15 to 20 dollars but I know some of them reach up to 25 I think it depends on like what the deal is that week and some of them change price over time and it's whatever um, on top of that if you can get away with this in your workplace um, really like dark jeans aka black or like a really dark navy jean um, normally we can get away with I've come to find in a lot of jobs I've worn it for interviews I've worn it for conferences so these are my favorite also from H&M <laughs> um, they're just black jeans I don't think there's anything like special about them they are like slim cut like skinny jeans um, but they're just like they're very stretchy fabric, like basically jeggings. Um, not like crazy tight that they're like skinny skinny jeans, but like they're fitted to me. And um, these I get away with, I'll just wear a slightly longer shirt to like kind of hide the, you know, pockets and everything and the normal looking front of the jeans. But even still, I've seen tons of people get away with even blue jeans anymore. But if you want to stick more to like the more nicer appropri appropriate side, um, black jeans, dark navy, I've even seen like they come out with more and more like khaki looking jeans. So um, different color jeans that aren't just your blue. Normally anymore you can get away with that. Like I said, unless you're working at some extremely like has a very strict dress code kind of place, which there are definitely still those out there. Um, but I've just come to notice that especially if you're working for a smaller business or something, maybe not so much in a huge city, then you can probably get away with something like this. I'm pretty sure these are all pretty much from the same area. Um, I have some Forever 21. These are my when I'm feeling, this is my when I'm feeling like colorful look. Um, Forever 21 blouse. And which the only thing that stinks with these is they are, that one's a little on the seat. Next is this navy blue, kind of like fitted. It has like the little like princess poof sleeve. And it's not a, it's I guess kind of a high neck. Um, and yeah, it has like this, uh, Everything's very like princessy about it. It has a bit of a sleeve, the high neck, everything has that like ruching when it connects with the um, hem and stuff even on the sleeve. And it's just very simple, two buttons in the back. This thankfully is not see-through. Um, I mean depending on the bra you wear, sometimes you see the texture through the shirt. So you kind of have to look out for that when you're buying more cheap clothing. But most of them you can get away with a pretty regular bra and I don't even... I only wear bralettes, so um, I get away with like all that under these, so I'm sure you'd be fine with that. And you can always find these for deals of like 10 to $15 with stuff like that at Forever 21. Do not pay. I swear, like, do not pay more than $20 for a blouse at Forever 21 because no. I have a bit of a hotter day. I enjoy wearing little blouses like these. Um, this is from the Who What Wear? Yeah, Who What Wear collection. I actually bought this at a consignment store, but I know it would have been sold at Target. Um, and it's white. I think it's going a little yellow. <laughs> I've had this a while and it was secondhand, so you know, doesn't help. But it just has a really cute ribbon on the front. Okay, last section for me um, that is extremely important is my jackets. My. I feel like someday I need to just have like a my jacket collection because I love jackets. I love blazers. I love like trench coats, I love winter coats, I love I love jackets. Okay, I'm just gonna start with a jacket and then I'll go into my favorite blazers because like I said, I can pretty much get away with wearing any jacket and most most places you probably take off your jacket when you get to work. I get really cold really easily so I like to sit with my jacket pretty much all day because I need it or I'm cold. But um, 
This jacket, I love. Um, it's technically a athletic jacket, and it could be more of the athleisure look, or you could literally use it for like running or something. I don't know how comfortable that would be because it has like the like motorcycle leather look to it, where it has like the lapels and the uh, collar and everything, and the zipper's pretty heavy. But technically, you could wear this to work out. It's a very thick, dry fit material. There's even like kind of like breathing areas in the back here and um it's from the brand joy lab and um it's yeah it's pretty much all like a big dry fit material so it's super like easy to breathe in like you feel comfortable i don't think i've ever felt warm in this um and yeah it literally just has the look of wearing it's kind of a mix of wearing like a comfier leather jacket but yet kind of looks like a blazer like i've worn this and people think i'm wearing like a really nice professional jacket and i'll be wearing it like with jeans and a t-shirt and they're like that's an interesting mix and i'm like it's an athletic jacket like who cares so i love getting away with this because it's so comfortable it can look super professional it can also just look really cool really comfy so this i love it was a little more on the expensive side if i remember it correctly from target but honestly i wear it so much i can't even say anything bad about it um, and it's so easy to wash because it's that thick, because it's dry fit, and I spill stuff on here all the time. So this is another H&M blazer, right? Yep, another H&M blazer. This is a more recent purchase with re finally having a professional job and needing to look kind of nice. I bought this. Um, so this is super cute because I love the inside pattern. I just, a touch like that, like, makes me really happy, especially because when you're ever like, ugh, like, you ever like, you know, pop your jack, I can't. <laughs> How do I act this out? You know when you have a jacket on, you like pop it back and like put your arm like on your waist and the jacket kind of like opens up? Yeah. <laughs> then you get to appreciate stuff like this. I just think it's amazing. I don't know. But um, this does not have pockets. Yes, correct. Um, it has a bit of a princess sleeve. It's obviously more obvious when you're actually wearing it. Just very nice, like, structured lapel, everything, you know, it's a blazer. It's a blazer. <laughs> These, I always get my blazers a little bit oversized for the fact that I, I talk with my hands. I move a lot. I need arm space, space. I need space. I need space, I need comfort, I need to be able to sit and chill in this thing, I need to be able to do anything. And the other thing is blazers can be pretty expensive, which really sucks. <laughs> sucks. Um, so honestly, blazers secondhand are amazing. I've bought, an, I've bought, an, Shelby, stop. In my life, I've purchased many a blazers from thrift stores. Um, you can always get them for like under $10 normally, and I've gotten some good ones. Um, I think I have like two in my closet that are from a thrift store. I have one that was from my grandmother, so I'll say secondhand. Um, these three that I pulled out, I did purchase, I believe, at the store itself. But I like refuse to spend more than like $25 on a blazer. But this is my like, this is my like empowerment blazer. Like I purchased this, I think two days before starting my internship as like a, yeah I like I deserve this like absolutely and I put it on and it is such a powerful red like I'm like <laughs> it's intense I've only worn it like twice the, the sucky thing is I've said sucky 10 times the horrible thing with this is is that when you get bold colors like these it limits the amount you can wear them in a short period of time if you care about other people noticing you re-wearing clothing but this let me tell ya, this is beautiful. Um, it doesn't have pockets. It's from Forever 21. This is a medium, which surprises me a little bit. Um, so it's made on more on the boxy side, which I love boxy anything, especially blazers. It does have slight, very slight shoulder padding in it. Um, so, which again, I love that look. Anything that turns me into a box, I'm here for. Um, it does have cuff sleeves, but I do believe it goes down to like my like wrist, you know? Um, but everything's just a little more it's a little bigger so if you want for that look then totally go for size do not size up in this go for your true size but if you want it to be more fitted you could try sizing down you might have issues with the length of the like shoulder if you have broad shoulders so just like keep an eye out for that but this let me tell you it's just like I feel like how powerful this red is isn't even coming through because it is, I mean, it turns me into a tomato because I have such like intense red undertones in my skin. But look at this red. Like you just turn into like a professional. Like, I'm sorry. Where's my paycheck? <laughs> 
All right, hey guys, sorry to just like cut in like way later. This is days later. I'm finally editing this and I'm just saying right now I'm cutting this video in half because I was looking at all the film. I ended up filming for like 45 minutes and um, in the end I decided it was just two different videos. So this video, I'm ending the my favorite like business clothing part um, and I'm going to quickly film an intro for the tips and tricks on creating your own style and business clothes so sorry if you were hoping to get that all in one video um but yeah I'm just cutting that off here sorry I said that at the beginning I apologize I'll put a little like I'm sorry I didn't mean it when I say that um but yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I kind of love working on these little like owning just a few pieces to incorporate into different parts of my life kind of thing and yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please let me know let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about if you'd like to see me style these outfits I have it on my blog so I will leave that link down below if you're interested check it out I'd appreciate that so much and yeah I will see you all in the next video bye